welcome back to my channel. Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tia, and I upload four times a week, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. I do mostly synthetic wig-related content here. We are multicultural. We are inclusive. I do name brand wigs all the way to affordable beauty supply store beauties. And so if that is what you're looking for, you have found it. So you should hit subscribe and the bell so that you don't miss any of my uploads. Okay? Okay. So today, I'm so, 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 so very excited. We're working with a new company and I, I'm so excited. I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. I have a new microphone. I'm like so excited. Look at it changes colors. Look how cute it is. I love it. See, it's changing colors. <laughs> We're working with a new company. And so this company is Continental Wigs, and they are a UK, UK, UK based company, but they do ship to the US, so, you know, no issues, no worries, you know. What I really like about Continental Wigs is they have wigs, like special edition of wigs that you can't get here. So that wig that I reviewed, the main mono, where it was like Raquel Welch times Ellen Villa, uh, that one, which I am obsessed with, that is a sort of UK exclusive, so you can only get it in the UK. We are working with them today, and I cannot wait. I haven't even opened this. I mean, I've opened it, but I haven't looked at anything. So they sent me this big package. Oh my gosh, there's so much good stuff in here. Ooh, look at this fancy book. Ooh, These are the Belle Madame. These are also a... Uh, UK exclusive, I'm pretty sure. So I need to go through and look at this. And this one is sort of all of what they carry. So if you can see, uh, this is gorgeous. There's Raquel Welsh. So this is like their catalog. So that is beautiful. They also put in here for me, there's a little return form. So I suggest in general, if you're not positive you're gonna keep a wig, especially a name brand wig, don't take the tag off until you know for sure that you don't want to keep it. Um, because almost always you need to have the tag on the wig in order to return. Oh my gosh, some of these are so pretty. There's so many catalogs for me to like look at, I can't wait. <laughs> then they gave me just the Norico catalog which is really cool. I need to go through that for sure. Um, I have a Noriko wig. I'm so excited. And the other thing that I'm really, really excited for is they gave me this color chart. So this is like the Ellen colors, the Amour, like all these different color charts, like all on one little thing. I love this. Raquel Welsh, Noriko. So these are the Noriko colors right here. So it's just like all the colors you need to know in one little handy. I'm obsessed with this. This is staying out. <laughs> so excited. But this is the wig. <laughs> Before I even get started, I want to thank them for working with me. And I've been really wanting to try to bring wigs because I do have some UK and European subscribers here. I do like to try to cater to as many people as I can. So let's look at her. I'm so excited. <laughs> Okay, calm yourself. This is oh, Noriko's. The color. I can't. I cannot. This is Noriko's Zane. And it's in the color Milk Tea LR. If you know anything, you know one of my favorite colors is the British Milk Tea. And that's a Beltress. Beltress. Beltress color. I can't. This color is... I'm already dying for this color. I'm already dying for this color. Look at that color. Oh my, 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 my. I can tell you right now, she's she definitely is darker than British Milk Tea, but it's in that sort of same, like, cool tone brown, grayish color family. It's got a stunning root. Uh, it's probably a number six root. It's not quite as dark as a number four. I cannot. So let's get the deets on Zane. Because this isn't a wig I've heard of. So either it's new or I just haven't heard of it. 
Okay, so Zane, it says that it is a lace front Monom filament part. So you can see here, there's a beautiful lace front. And then you have the monofilament parting right here. The rest is sort of a comfort cap and then the rest is mesh. There's no combs in this wig. And they have the bra strap type adjustable straps. Some people like were saying something about wefted wigs. You know, there are various cap constructions, but a wefted wig cap really can be good for those of you who maybe are getting a little hot with your wigs because it does obviously give a little bit more air and flow through the cap. I don't think this is a heat safe wig. It does say that Milk Tea LR is a newer color. So that is good to know. Many of the companies are coming out with like either coffee type colors or, you know, just those type of colors. So Noriko has some of my favorites. They have that melted coconut, the melted marshmallow. I love those. I think I've tried the iced mocha and also the mochaccino. Love that too. Yeah, it does not appear to be, no, it is not heat safe. Okay, so let's get her on. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, the wig that I was wearing, Sensationals Unit 16 uh, from their Butter Lace line and it was in the color Flamboyage Mocha and it was a collab, it was a review collab video with OMG It's Cat, so check that out. So I'm shaking her up just to loosen up the fibers a little bit. She's feeling a little snug on me. Um, I am, my measurements from ear to ear, I am 11 and three quarters. From front to back, I am 14 inches. And circumference I have is 21.5 inches. So for the most part, it's a petite average depending on the company. I'm gonna take my wig cap, wig cap grip off. Wearing a wig grip in general can help if you do have a wig that is a little bit big it can help it be snug um, and if you find that a wig is a little snug and you're wearing a wig you're wearing a wig grip you might want to take the wig grip off you know because it does take up some space in there oh yeah much better oh my gosh this color oh okay so um i'm loving her i'm already loving her so there you can see the monofilament parting. I mean, she's kind of versatile in how you like lay this a little bit. So you could just have sort of these bangs that are sitting to either side. You could do more of a, you know, people like to do sort of that you know, deeper swoopy situation. You could do that. It's looking shiny in my light. So I'm just going to turn this light down because I want you to see. Well, that's not any better. I'll take some photos of this and I'll take some photos like outside and during the day because it's not, it's not shiny. My studio lights just, just sometimes there's nothing I can do about that. But I'll put additional pictures in. <sighs> I'm sorry, I am in, I am in love with this wig. So like I said, you could have it be sort of not quite middle parted, but you can mess around with the part because it is monofilament. She feels good. This is, you know, definitely, it's not, it's a silkier fiber, so um, there's not much texture to it. I can't, I can not. Let me mess with her for a few minutes and then, you know, because anytime you get, especially with a wig, in general, you need to, you know, mess around with a wig just so it works, you know, where it's sitting on you. Um, but especially when there's bangs, everybody has different preferences, preferences. Everybody has different shapes uh, for to their face. So um, sometimes it's just a matter of like working around what you got. I wonder if I could just, ooh, look at that rooting. I mean, it is a lace front. This is my hair right here. So I feel like, could you just make the whole thing go back and like to the, to the, to the back, to the back. All right, let me play around with this wig and see where I can get her and then we will talk. Okay. How do I feel about being uh, a member, of the, member of, of the Information Society? That's a difficult question because I didn't know we were in the Information Society.
because you know how I feel about bangs, okay? This wig is so adorable. Um, I used a little bit of the Tressalore wig wax. It had a, because of its fine fibers, it did have some flyaways and I think this works very well for that. And I also used a little bit of the African Essence wig control spray. I absolutely love this spray. So I did use that. You saw that I clipped it a little bit. Um, she could be trained a little bit more uh, but overall, I think she's so cute. Let's look at her from the back. Let's look at her from the back. Let me put my, cause my hood, mama, my hood is kind of in the way. Oh yeah. See? Absolutely. I absolutely love this wig. I'll put all of the pricing stuff down below. I would say she's probably in the 350 ish. I'll put it down below because I need to put both the uh, US and also Euros as well down there. You could really slick her down, um, but I do also feel like you could really jazz her up. And, you know, if you wanted to get some lift and some volume, you could definitely do that. She would be a great candidate for like sort of a clip back situation, you know, or a tuck behind the ear situation. She does have bendable ear tabs, you know, a tuck behind the ear situation. Um, so for a short wig, I think she's still versatile. I'm obsessed with this color. She's adorable. I just told them to send me a wig that they wanted me to review and surprise me and I'm very surprised. I love this wig. I definitely recommend it. This color is amazing. I will do some color comparisons like with the British Milk Tea. Um, I'd also like to compare it to a couple other Noriko colors. The Melted Marshmallow. Um, maybe the Iced Blonde from... Is that Renee of Paris? I think it's Renee of Paris. But you know me. I like to do wig comparison, color comparisons she's really not giving me any particular wig her length makes me think of may but may definitely had more volume here the way she lays around the face kind of reminds me of lane um but the fibers are definitely you know this is more of a in terms of the movement she she is more she is closer to cheyenne uh, than any other wig. It's just the cut is different. Cheyenne was just straight down and blunt. This does have layering. Uh, but in terms of how it sort of lays and the movement and the fibers, it's a lot like Cheyenne. I'm, I'm obsessed. I absolutely love this. I want to thank Continental Wigs for deciding to work with me. This color is amazing. This wig is amazing in general. This is definitely like a daily option. Um, you know, an everyday type of wig, but you could really jazz this up. Please go over to Continental Wigs. I'll put their Instagram and their website. Please go ahead and show them some love. Tell them I said, hey. And if you have this wig or you have thoughts, please let me know down below. I will put my name brand wig playlist down below so you can see all the name brand wigs that I have reviewed. I think I also have a separate Noriko playlist because I have reviewed quite a few Noriko wigs. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. I have. Thanks so much. Thanks so much. Thanks so much. Thanks so much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Bye.